welcome to Lille. We're here for the next 48 hours, so let's start the show. Who is this, Paul? This is Leon Trudlin. Behind me is the Opera de Lille. The Opera de Lille is a neoclassical opera house built from 1907 to 1913 and officially inaugurated in 1923. The Opera de Lille is a member of the European Network for Opera, Music and Dance Education and of Opera Europa. This building behind me is the Beffrey de Chamber de Commerce. Well, we have a fabulous room at the Ibis Styles Grand Place and we've stayed here before so we are familiar with the hotel and the area. It's right in the centre of Lille. So we come in and we have a welcome bottle of water and two glasses, a lovely bed and what have we got in here? Some information about the area we have our TV and then we come over here and we have the toilet oh the toilet and the shower are separate that's interesting okay the toilet and the shower with a lovely little bathroom the last time we were here, I think we had upgraded. So we had a balcony. Unfortunately, there isn't one this time, but we are here to enjoy the city. Thanks to Paul's membership of All Acor Hotels, we receive a free drink on arrival here. So look, we've got a nice, Heineken each, so I think I'm not a poor man. So, cheers everyone, a great way to start our stay here in France. We have just had our free drink at the hotel and we don't have a lot of time so it's straight on to lunch and the last time we were here we discovered this fantastic coffee shop called the Notting Hill Coffee. It's a chain and this one is in the Place d'Opera so right in the centre of town. I have chosen this lovely quiche, a traditional Lille sugary dessert, a cappuccino and a nice little chocolate. I have a latte, which looks amazing, panel chocolate, and this um, Parma ham and mozzarella um, in this sourdough um, roll, I think. So yeah, this all looks rather appetizing. This is the Lille Marketplace. It's quiet today. There's only one book and poster stall. But I think on a Sunday, this place is buzzing the whole way around. But look at the architecture, it's amazing. <music> Thank you. 
I love this neoclassical architecture. It's divine. It certainly is, and it is a feature of Lille. Well, I don't recall this place being here before. It the, certainly wasn't. It's called the Delombre Bakery, and they do New York style cookies. Wow, this is the magnificent Lille Cathedral. Traditional chateaus. Love this type of building. Look at this. Traditional toys. Very expensive too, but they are all originals. Look at these cars. There's a Merc. That looks like an extended Mini, a Mini Clubman perhaps. Oh look, there's Tintin. I used to have a hairstyle like that. But my favorite is this taxi, I think. 79 euro. Oh, look, I remember this place, Le Shopping Sports Bar. We came here the first time we were in Lille and it was on St. Patrick's Day and they had laid on the big Guinness hats, remember that? And we were tanked, absolutely ginormous, the big green hats and we were tanked up on Guinness that night. I think we might be coming again, don't you? Yeah, sooner rather than later. Oh, delirium. The first time I had this was in Warsaw. This is quite a strong beer. But I think this bar has seen better days. We are now coming up to Le Privilege and this is, in our opinion, the best place for a night out in Lille. It's the premium gay bar and it's just an absolutely fantastic place inside and out. I just love all the decor um, and the drinks, of course. So this is definitely going to be on our list of places this visit. Yep. Oh look Paul, they've written a book all about you. <laughs> Shopping is a big part in any trip to Leo. And indeed, we have already been stocking up on groceries at the Carrefour supermarket. And now we are going to this shopping centre over here. It is called Grand Place. And one of the stores is FNAC, which stocks music and electronics. This is Gare de Lille, Flanders, where you can catch a train to places such as Ghent. 
And if you are feeling homesick, there is also a M&S food store. The big daddy of shopping in Lille is your Lille, and it's now part of the Westfield group. And you could find such stores like Bershka. And there's also a pre-mark. And earlier on, we saw someone carrying a bag that said Pennies on it. Mm. Now, Pennies is the name that Premark trades under in Ireland. And I'm just wondering if they have actually changed their name in here. It says Premark on the outside, and we shall now see what it says on the inside. Well, it looks like it's still Premark. We can, I think, answer the Premark Pennies riddle. Um, the store is called Premark here. It is all Premark branding inside, but they're giving out two types of paper bag. One says Premark and another says Pennies. And I don't know why exactly they're handing out the Pennies bags, but both can be used as gift wrapping paper. Do you think that it has a bit of an identity crisis? Possibly, or maybe they just received the wrong consignment. Maybe it was meant for Dublin. Bonjour, s'il vous plaît, amez, commentez, à abonnez-vous. Marcus, what are you doing? I'm trying to find the URL for our show. Why don't you just Google it? There it is. It's my favorite store, CNA, and I believe this is the closest one to the UK. So let's go in and see what they've got. Well, it looks as though I've bought up half the store. Finding a toilet in a city that you're maybe not overly familiar with is very important. And here in Lille, we have found one which is actually free to get into. So what did you think, Paul? Yeah, it was quite interesting. And I think what is the most interesting thing about this toilet is, is that when one person goes in, a different person comes out. It's a bit like um, Doctor Who, I suppose. Oh my gosh. <laughs> Thank you. 
So we are taking the Lille Metro for the first time. Interesting. So we want to get tickets, so let's hope it's in English. Yeah, and we want to purchase. Uh, you travel occasionally. On this ticket you may charge one hour trips. Yeah, okay. First purchase on this ticket. One hour journey on the network. That's what we want. And we want two tickets. Confirm. The total amount is three euro eighty cents. Total money. And we pay. Let's yeah. see what it says. And I think we can use coins. I have like, I think I have eighty in there. Okay. Well, I have loads of coins anyway. But. And here's the coin slot. Here. Two, three, three fifty, three seventy, three eighty. Yes, I want a seat. And here come the tickets. I'll ask for two tickets and there's only one here. I guess we go on the same ticket. This doesn't make any sense, so it said tickets. Two. Or does that mean two journeys? Well, I guess we're going to have to do it another time then. Uh, Shall we try? Doesn't make any sense. Why don't you go through with the ticket? Do and I then, pass it back to you? Yeah. Are we going to have to pay? We have established that it's actually two journeys we purchased, not two tickets. So that's something to watch out for. If you only wanted one journey but two tickets, you need to do it in separate transactions. So what we've done, uh, we've bought another card with two journeys, which means we, we can use the Metro twice. But this is the first time we've used it. Let's see what the trains are like. So we have to decide um, which way we're going and we are at the Republic Duarts and I know that we need to take it two stops to uh, Flanders station and it's not listed here which means hopefully it is on the other side. Let's have a look yes. and then we're changing there to take the other metro line. There are two lines. Ah, right, so here we are. We are at Republic de Arts and we're going to take it to Gar Lille Flanders. Mind the steps. Here it is, and it looks as though it's a very small train. We have just had our tickets checked, so it's just as well that we understood the system before we got on and bought two separate tickets. 
I think that it might have been random spot checks. Possibly. Do you think that there's a lot of fair dodging going around here? Um, well, if we have officers out like this on a regular basis, then I would say there isn't. Um, because it would hopefully prevent it. So maybe they pump more money into uh, providing the officers, which I think is an excellent um, operation. This is Gar Lille Flanders. So this is the central point of Lille, where you saw Marks and Spencers. And so we need to change lines to take up one stop. So we are heading towards St. Philibert. It looks rather modern, I think. Oh, look, here is a map of the entire service. Because there's more than the two lines, there's the T line as well. But we're at the central part at uh, Gar Lille Flanders, which is here. And we wanted to take it one stop to, ah, there it is, down here, to Marie de Lille. Wow, look at this. These are really great stations. We've only seen two of them, but they're quite decorative. Wow, look at that. And so colorful too. Ooh. You don't need to touch out. Our next stop is the City Belfry, and I'm guessing that's it behind me. It looks like there's a bit of a queue to get in, so we better go and join it. You can't get in, Paul. Yes, that is the case because they only allow 18 people in every hour on the hour and there are 18 people already lined up so uh, unless we get a chance to go a little bit later in our stay which is doubtful um then we'll just have to do with seeing the outside mm. but at least it's a nice sunny day where are we now paul Let me zoom in on my phone. Iglise de la Paris Saint Maurice. So Saint Maurice's church. This is St. Maurice himself. This is rather poignant. It says, To the glory of God and to the memory of one million dead, of the British Empire, who fell in the Great War in 1914-1918, and of whom the greater part rest in France. Now let us pray. Lord, give us a good stay here in Lille. I hope that the weather improves. I hope that we do everything that we want to do and I hope that 
we're healthy enough to do so. Thank you for watching over us. So thank you for everything. In the name of the Lord, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Thank you for watching our show today. If you like what you see, please like, comment, and subscribe. <laughs>it's our last morning here in Lille and on this type of day when you're leaving well there's not really much you can do if you've only got a couple of hours but we have left a little bit of shopping at the last minute and Printemps is one of the biggest department stores in France I believe and it is certainly uh, the biggest department store in Lille so we shall take a little look
quite a find. It's really easy getting to Lille by Eurostar from London and we have an episode next week where we will show you how it's done. But from Lille, from Paul and from me, it's goodbye.